Hey y'all, how's everyone doing? Well, I've got an unboxing. What you saw by the title is something I'm very excited about. And rather than talk a lot about it, I'm just going to get the box and start unboxing. So, y'all know that I had a Chanel um, Jumbo Black Caviar um, Single Flap. And I wore it like maybe three, four times ever because it was in excellent condition. It was so pristine. I kept thinking, this is an investment bag. They're hard to get in this shape. And so I wouldn't really enjoy it. Well, I ended up selling it, made about $1,000 on it. Later found out that I um, could have made about $4,000 on it because the value of it went up so much. So I thought, well, you know, you sell when you can, when you're doing, when you're buying something really and truly for the purpose of making money on it. It's not just enjoy the bag. You're going to resell it. But you can't really enjoy the bag because you're going to resell it. So I ended up getting a trendy, I don't know if y'all remember that, a black trendy quilted lambskin. And um, I love it, but it's a very sophisticated little bag. And so I've kind of been looking, I felt like maybe I boo-booed selling my jumbo but I did so I'm looking at this because this is a vintage bag and I just need to see what kind of shape is it in is it something that will be an investment purchase again which I'm thinking not um, it's supposedly in not excellent I think it's in very good condition. They have different levels, y'all. This is the real real. That's who I buy from, and I sell through them. Um, and that's one way for you to make your money. So here's the thing. They've got the box. They've got the original ribbons from opening. They've got the um, authentication card, and we will check that number. I'm sure they already have, or they wouldn't have put it in here. And also, the real real is very good. They have authenticators. and um, So let's just see it for its size. Will I use this as an investment bag? Oh my gosh, this is a different bag. Okay, there's two. <laughs> this ain't no investment bag. I am going to enjoy this so much. This is the black bucket bag. And I love it, love it, love it already. Um, I can just tell you right now. No, I'm not going to. I'm going to use this. This is not an investment bag. I mean, who knows? Maybe. I will sell it later. But I've wanted a bucket bag forever. And I was looking at... Um, LV Lover, LV Lover CC, Charis, and she was doing her handbag collection, which y'all have asked me to do an updated one, and I will get to that, but I want to make sure when I do, I'm probably going to do it in the room that I keep them in, um, and the cases, and that is going to be quite a bit of prep. I may just do my 10 favorites or 5 favorites in the meantime or something like that, but um, the bottom line is, uh, she had a red one of these, and I fell in love with it. And you can't find them. And so I was, I mean, you can find bucket bags, but not where it has this right here. Because this was a seasonal bag. I think it was a 2019. And, um, and I, keep in mind that if you take this off, if you have a tag on it that's put on there, and they put them on where you can't tie them back, um, that if you remove it, you own the bag. So you have to really look it over. And so let's look it over. I'm looking at all the corners. There is nowhere uh, at all. And it's got these bottom um, feet on it, which I love. I love that it is um, a chain closure with the little CCs. Um, they're not beaded or anything. It's just plain CCs. Very smooth. And that's the main thing that I want to check is this contraption right here. Make sure that it works good. Um, okay, so I can see where they did a... Um, they have done a fix to this which they did not mention. Oh no, that's not a fix. It just had chinked. Sorry. Um, but it looked like it was a chink. There is a little bit of wear on the leather from this going back and forth. So I just want to make sure that this still goes very smoothly. And it doesn't get locked up in any way. Okay, so that is kind of locking up a little bit. Because one of the things is you, you want to be able to open and close this easily. Well, while it's open, let's go ahead and look inside. So one of the things I love about this is you have the long chain, which we can look at in a minute, but you also have this little handle, you know, and honestly, that's probably what I'm going to be grabbing when I put it in the car, all that kind of stuff. Here's the back. Here's the front. There's no pocket. 
That's about how wide it is. I'm going to put it next to my face so you can see the size. And then inside, of course, it has that tag. And then it also has the original paperwork. Oh, this is very wise of them to keep these. These are the camellias that would have been on the outside of the original box along with those ribbons and the paperwork that would have come with it. So that, I'll look at that, but I know y'all don't want to. But, um, okay, I want to see the chain. Here's the chain. All right. All right, so you have a shoulder bag chain, which is the Chanel leather in the gold. There is no chinking except just a little. That always happens when it, when you have this, though. Um, and it's got the leather for, you know, on your shoulder or crossbody. And this would be a good crossbody size for me. Just so you know, it's right down here, right at my hip. So that's a perfect, this is a perfect casual bag. The trendy is kind of more of a formal bag. So even though they're both black, um, and this is caviar leather, by the way. The trendy is, uh, if I remember correctly, it's lambskin. So I am a little more careful with that one, but I know I love it. But I don't wear it daily. This would be a daily bag. And it's pretty deep, as you can see. It's just one big open area on the back side it has one pocket no zipper anywhere let me fill around now there's no zipper um, I'm looking down in it no stains it smells wonderful it doesn't have any odor um, there's the Chanel made in Italy and let me see where is the there's the tag I feel it Okay, this is a, one of the thumb leather tags down there, but I am going to have to squish this down and check the number. Hold on. Yep, there it is. And it's sewn in, and it also has the cover on it. So that is very authentic. Plus, I do trust in the real real to be good authenticators. So I'm in love with the bag. There is another vintage bag that I did order. So... That's actually what I thought this was. But anyway, um, I'm loving this. I will definitely keep this. I will keep playing with the... I, here's the thing about this piece. You don't want to run it up and down too much because you are running over that leather. I will likely leave it about there so that I can pull and go in and out real easily. But if I was going to be out in public, I would tighten this back down after I get something out. And you just literally pull it back up and it will look like that. But yeah, I, I will be careful not to over pull on that. And I will sit it down instead of the way I was trying to do it in the air for y'all. But yeah, it, it does just fine. It, it stays just fine. I'll probably keep it about there. So what do y'all think? I'm loving it. Absolutely love it. I have looked for the bucket bag. There's so many different kinds of bucket bags. And I love bucket bags. I have um, the Dooney and Burke one, I believe. And um, it's a little bigger and deeper. I like that this isn't too deep because sometimes when you put, like this will fit fine to put my organizer in. Um, but I may just put pouches in. Sometimes that's easier than having the organizer. Um, I know y'all can't believe I say that, but I do love my Clover Sack organizer. I have not used Smarga yet. Um, but sometimes I just like having little pouches because I know what's in each one. I don't have to look through stuff. But um, sometimes if it's um, not a deep bag, it's easier to use an organizer because it's, you know, it's right there. But when it's deeper like this, it's easier just to grab a pouch out that I know what's in it. So that's probably what will go in here. And so that's it. So maybe I'll do an update of what's in my bag. Comment below if you would like me to do an update of what's in my bag as I change over from my Ferragamo to this because I have my white Ferragamo I'm carrying today because I'm wearing all white. I got my new Hermes bracelet. I don't know if y'all can see that. And can you see it? And white. And so I'm wearing white today. And so I wore my white purse. And so I'm going to be switching it over. So when I do, if you're interested, comment below. I will do an update of what's in my purse because it's not organizer. It is pouches this time. Sometimes I like using the pouches. So anyway, I love you guys. Tell me what you think of the bag. Would you keep it? I think I'm going to keep this though, y'all. Pretty positive. Matter of fact, I'm so positive, I'm going to just take a moment here that I'm going to go ahead and cut this off so y'all can see the leather handle. Now, the handles are not rolled. They're flat leather, but they are double-sided. It's not a single-sided flat leather. Because sometimes single-sided flat leather doesn't hold up very well. And this is, you know, stitched. It's double-sided. And it's smaller. And if you want to, 
you can just push it back down in there if you don't want the handle and you just want to use this. And of course, however you decide to pull out how much of this is how long it will be. I will leave this at the full length um, and leave this at that height. I've checked every single thing out about this bag. Um, so I think I am going to just keep it. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the stuff off, the tags off. I will keep them. You always hold on, not to that one, but to this one, the one from Real Real. Um, this says it was $4,200 pre-owned. I did not pay $4,200 for this. I got they I got some kind of a discount because I also sell for the Real Real. And so it was less than that. But normally it would be around $4,200. And... Um, it's up in the high 6,000s, uh, I believe, if you can find one, like this. And again, this is different than other bags, and this piece right here is different. And other bags that I was looking at, they're either chevron or they're not caviar leather, or they don't have the feet on the bottom. They may be a little bit different sizing. This, they may have um, the CC sewn into the leather, like the big CCs there. I've seen those. But this is the style, the one I wanted. And when I saw uh, Karis's, or Karis, I think is her actual name. It's C-H-A-R-I-S. And again, that's L-V, because she's a big Louis Vuitton person. Advocate, but she has lots of other bags. But it's L-V Lover CC. When I saw her collection and saw that red one, I was like, I have been looking for that and looking for that. So, But when I found it in black, I thought, you know, I will use that more than red. I mean, red... Is something that's a good pop of color it can be used a lot but black you can wear with anything so anyway hope y'all enjoyed this unboxing and i'll talk to you again soon bye